Death Dragons are not Dracoliches. Game Master's here and we are diving deep into what the Death Dragon is in the new Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen book for Dungeons and Dragons. Death Dragons are undead, but they are not Dracoliches, but they are kind of similar. Keep in mind that the things in the realm of Dragonlance are separate from other settings. Things work a little different here. Many a year ago, there was a great cataclysm that wrecked and sundered the land. The, the magic from that catastrophic catastrophic event still burns in distant lands of Kryn, and when a metallic or chromatic dragon dies, that lingering fire can infuse with the skeletal remains, bringing a shadow of that dragon's former self back into the mortal world. The bones of a death dragon burn with a purpley violet flame, which the dragon can use as a twisted version of its breath weapon that it once had when it was alive. Further, its new breath weapon can also snuff out life and infuses undeath into corpses, and the zombies that the death dragon turns will follow the dragon's will. There are two types of death dragons in this book, greater death dragons and lesser death dragons, and it's not exactly the age of the former dragon that differentiates them, but rather the extent of the cataclysmic fires that infuse into the bones. Lesser death dragons will only recall brief flashes of memory of their former selves, but when they do experience Experience those flashes, it will drive them into a rage at once they at what they once were, causing them to destroy the thing that triggered that memory. Greater death dragons manage to retain most of their former selves, albeit that personality has been twisted. They will continue to gather treasure. Uh, they're going to continue to hoard, uh, guard their hoard, but their actions are erratic from what they once were. Before we jump into the stat block, I'd love to ask that if you're enjoying this video, please hit that like button. It really helps to spread my video out to more eyes, and I thank you kindly for that. Greater Death Dragons have an armor class of 16. They have 20d12 plus 100 hit points. They have a strength of 23. Their dexterity is 10. Constitution is 20. Intelligence is 11. Wisdom is 14 and the charisma is 10. They have damage immunity to necrotic and poison and have condition immunity to exhaustion and poisoned. They have a challenge rating of 14. The Lesser Dragon has slightly less stats and a challenge rating of 10. The Greater Death Dragon has legendary resistance, and both versions are of unusual nature, meaning that they do not require air, food, drink, or sleep. For actions, both have multi-attack, can bite and claw, and have a breath attack called Cataclysmic Breath. While the damage and cone size is the main difference between the two, I'm going to detail out the Greater Death Dragon's breath weapon. When a Greater Death Dragon belches out its purpley fire breath weapon, it forms a 60-foot cone. Uh, those that are caught in that cone must make a DC 18 dexterity save, else they will take 10d8 necrotic damage. If the creature dies, it becomes a zombie under the dragon's control. Additionally, the Greater Death Dragon also has three legendary actions. It can claw, or it can use Cataclysmic Rush. Cataclysmic Rush allows the Death Dragon to move up to half its flying speed without provoking opportunity attacks. If it lands in a space occupied by a medium or smaller creature, that creature takes 1d8 necrotic damage. As mentioned, there are certainly some similarities to the Dragon Lich, but there are some major differences as well. I will also tease this. I'm working on another video of an individual that actually uses a Death Dragon as a mount. Can you guess? Yeah, Lord Soth. We're going to cover him in our next video, so be sure to bookmark this playlist and subscribe so that you don't miss it. What do you think of the Death Dragon? Let me know down in the comments, and until next our paths cross, may you not get breathed on by a Death Dragon.